By the year 2050, uh, more than six billion people, that's uh, two thirds of the world population, will live in cities. Um, of course, for many reasons, it's great to be close together. But a rising urban population cannot just continue to, to put more pressure on nature, anything outside the city. Today's topic is smart cities. I'm in Prague today to talk about smart cities. Um, now, Prague might not be the top of mind name when you think about the buzzword smart city. Uh, we think of high-tech cities, skyscrapers with vertical farms, uh, self-driving cars, drones, connected devices and so on. But Prague is in top, among the best in the world as far as uh, green space per resident. More than 220 square meters of green area for every resident in the city. Um, Reykjavik, Iceland comes in top of that list with more than 400. In a mega city world, increasingly disconnected from nature, I believe that this is more important than anything else. Yes, of course, we will have to embrace new technology, but with the overall objective to get closer to nature again. Water, it's just uh, one simple example. Um, in a city like this, most of the time you don't get it from the source. You don't go to the river to drink. Like anything else, it comes in a package. We buy one million plastic bottles every minute. That's the current trend. And unfortunately, 91% of uh, all plastics never get recycled. It ends up as waste, uh, landfill, or even worse, in the oceans. The trend is, um, is quite horrifying. Right now, in a business as usual scenario, there will be more plastic waste than fish in the world oceans by 2050. And that's just one example out of many. Um, sanitation, air pollution, infectious diseases, and so on. As the cities keep on growing, we need to come up with new smart solutions to create a renewable energy system, sustainable transportation systems, um, a circular economy with no waste, no pollution. To me, the best way to make sure that we are focused on why we are innovating, what our hopes and goals and dreams with new technology should be, is to make sure that people in megacities are spending more time in nature. Um, a smart city has to be a place with a healthy mix of screen time and green time to remind us of, um, of this amazing ecosystem that we all depend on. Your thoughts or any comments? The whole section below is yours. Go wild. Or maybe you have suggestions, topics for the fall. Anyhow, if you want more, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the future.